Hey guys, I'm back here with a video that I'm going to show you guys. And what I'm doing is routering some 6061 aluminum. I'm making some running board uh, ribs, I guess you'd call them, or steps so people don't step on the paint. They could actually step on these if they had to step on them. Um, a little bit of chrome action is what it'll look like when it's done. So what I'm starting with is one inch by half inch. I took a one inch piece of solid stock and I did some ink, uh, markers ink on here and I scribed around and then I just used a belt sander to get as close as possible. I have another one that this is my jig and it's drilled in, these are drilled and tapped but not all the way through and what I do is basically put these together and the reason why is so this router could actually I can clamp it in the vise and the router itself will actually be I won't hit nothing it'll be free from all the obstacles that like that little bolt on the bottom of the router die so what I've got going on, let me tighten these up. And this is the initial little jig that I built for these. I have to do six of them. But I figured you guys are probably like, man, this guy's crazy. He's got this wood router. And that's exactly what I'm going to use. So what I do is I put it in here so I can get a good bite so it's level. But it holds my, 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 my work really level as well. Then what I'm gonna do is get on my safety gear so I can get doing it. And all I'm using a, uh, this is half inch thick, so I'm using a half inch uh, radius uh, wood router bit, like a curve. And basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna knock this edge off this thing. It's gonna be like a bull nose, but I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'll show you the finished product as I just do this one. tends to walk because the surface isn't real flat, flat as in it wants to toggle is you can go back over it and I'll go back over it in some of the spots it kind of chamfers so I'll do that now
now that I got it pretty close, I'm going to show you. So, as you can see, it just knocks the edge off real nice. And I got these two done so you guys can see them. But I'll show you the finished product. And I just use a Scotch Bright wheel that go on these, these here. And that's what'll take out those little, I guess you'd say grooves on the side. It cleans up real nice. Then you can go over to the polisher. That's the finished product. So this is the one I just did. That's finished. Almost like a piece of billet. All with a wood router. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get back to cleaning these things up with this Scotch Brite and then take them in the other room and go to polish. But I figured that I would share this with you because not a lot of people know that you could use some wood tools like a router and wood bits to cut any soft metal, aluminum, brass, stuff like that. But we ended up using this system, not a router, but we end up using a mill with a router bit to do the 55 Cadillac grill. So hope you guys like this video. Um, it was kind of enlightening when I first learned about it. A lot of people are like, what in the world? But with soft metals, it, it, it does pretty cool jobs. So if you're looking to make like a bull nose or like a billet rounded edge, all you got to do is change this. You can get quarter inch radius, one inch radius, whatever you want. So hope you guys like this. If you're not a subscriber, go over to my, go down to the bottom of the channel and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. But other than that, I've just been so busy with this, the truck, everything here and there. I've just been swamped. So you guys stay tuned and I'll get another video coming your guys' way as soon as possible if I ever get anything done.